everyone welcome back to beyond the cow today we are making this gorgeous star fruit hexagon it's really easy to make and it gives this really cute lovely hexagon so let's have a look at how it's made so to start round one we are going to either use a magic ring or you can chain four and slip stitch to form a ring. So that's what I'm doing, I'm chaining four, and then I'm going to slip stitch to form a ring. Just like so. And then we are going to chain three, and then make a double crochet into that ring. Okay, so this first chain three counts as a double crochet. And then we're going to chain three. And then we're going to make a two double crochet cluster. Now that basically is a bit like when you do a chain, um, sorry, when you do a double crochet two together. So we do two incomplete double crochets. So yarn over, insert into your ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then leave that last loop on your hook. Yarn over, insert into the ring, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two loops, and then you've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. So that's two stitches together there, a two double crochet cluster. Okay, and then we're going to chain three, and then again into your ring and make another two double crochet cluster. Just like so. Okay. And then chain three and then you're going to repeat that around the ring three more times so that you've got six clusters all together and when you've done your last cluster and chain three you just want to slip stitch into the top of your chain three that you started with make a slip stitch into there and there we go that is round one You've got six little clusters making a sort of star in the centre. Cool. So let's move on to round two. Okay, you could change colour as often as you like. Um, I'm going to change colour now and keep this green centre. So if you um, are keeping the same colour, keeping the same colour, uh, slip stitch over into this first chain space, okay? and be ready for the next round. If you are finishing um, this colour and changing, then just fasten off and then rejoin or join your new colour into a chain space. Okay, so we're all going to start round two in the chain space. So I have my new colour joined. I'm using a yellow now. And we are going to work around our, it's a bit like a circle at the moment, but our hexagon. And I'm just going to work over my tails as well, work those in. So first of all, we're going to do a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Okay, scooch that to the side. So a chain three, and then we're going to do five double crochets into the same space five double crochets okay so with that beginning chain three that counts as six double crochets there make sure I have done six okay and then you're going to go straight over to the next chain space and make six double crochet and then straight to the next one and make six so you're doing six double crochets in every space and then slip stitch to the top of your chain three to finish the round pause the video and i'll see you soon and there we go at the end of round two so it's still slightly circular but you do have sort of six sides there now we're starting to work our hexagon so now we're going to do the points of this star fruit so again you can change color if you want to change color then fasten off and join your new color either into that same stitch which is actually your chain three 
or just join it into the first double crochet of any of these sets of six, okay? So join your new colour in the first double crochet of the six, okay? So if you are staying with the same colour, you don't have to do anything, you are in the right place. So what we're going to do is chain one and then we're going to single crochet into that stitch or it might be the chain three. So it's single crochet. And then we're going to chain six. Okay, so chain six. And now we're going to make our point, and we're going to make our point out to this side. Okay, it's going to come out here. So what we're going to do is ignore the first chain that we've made, or the last chain, and then we're going to work into the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet. I'm going to do mine into the back bump. You can do yours however you like. Let's go into that chain and make a single crochet. Okay, and then we're going to progressively get um, into taller stitches. So single crochet and then a half double crochet in the next chain. And then a double crochet. And then a treble crochet in the next chain and then a double treble in the last chain so that's yarn over three times and make a double treble in the last chain okay so we've got our pointy thing here now and then we are going to do a single crochet in the fifth double crochet along. So we've got six double crochets here. You're going to do it in the last to one. So in the fifth double crochet, make a single crochet to join that point down. And there is your first point of your star fruit. Okay, and then we are going to chain three. And then do a single crochet in the first double crochet. Okay, so ignore this last double crochet here, this number six stitch, and do a single crochet in the next one. So the very first one of the next set of six. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm going to explain that once more, and then I'll leave you to repeat it around your hexagon. Okay, so we are going to chain six. Okay, in the second chain, we're going to do a single crochet. And then a half double crochet in the next. And then a double crochet in the next. treble crochet in the next and then a double treble which is three yarn overs oops, in the last chain oops. okay and there you go and then to join this to our base, we're going to do a single crochet in the fifth double crochet of this set. So the last, one but last, in the fifth single crochet. And then we're going to chain three. Okay. And single crochet in the very first stitch of the next set. And then you're ready to start again for your next point. And you're going to have six points by the end with six chain threes in between. So rewind the video um, a couple of minutes to repeat by starting with your chain six. So you do your chain six, work your stitches down, single crochet in the fifth stitch, chain three, single crochet in the first stitch. And then when you get to where you started, um, I will join you 
back for finishing off this round. So finishing up this round, you want to do your single crochet in your fifth stitch, chain three, and then slip stitch into your first single crochet at the bottom of your first point. Let's just make a slip stitch into there. And that is the end of round three. There's your star for your star fruit made. Clever how those points work up, hey? There we go. Lovely, lovely. So again, if you want to change colour, I'm going to change colour. Um, you want to fasten off and then join your new colour in any of these chain three spaces between your points. Okay, so fasten off and join your colour in a chain three space. If you are staying with the same colour, then you want to turn your work around and slip stitch back into this last chain space. Okay, just going to go over a couple of times and then be in that space. Okay, that's if you're going to keep the same colour and then turn back to start working again. Okay, but I'm going to undo that, fasten off and join a new colour. Okay, for round four, joined my new colour, this white. What we're going to do is chain three as a double crochet. And just move that over. And then we are going to do two more double crochet into that same space. Two double crochet. Making that three double crochet in our chain space. And then we are going to chain five, chain five, and do a single crochet, <coughs> excuse me, do a single crochet in the very top of your point. So remember we had a chain that we didn't use at the top there, so just go into the very top and do a single crochet. Wherever you can get into at the very top there, and do a single crochet. And you'll see that that just pulls that out into more of a point. If you look at this one, it's not looking particularly pointy. Can you see that? Not looking particularly pointy. But this one now looks like it's got more of a point. So then chain five. And we're back to doing three double crochet in our chain space. So three double crochet in your chain space. Oops, not like that. Do that again. So three double crochet in that chain space. And chain five. And then a single crochet in the top of your point. Chain five. And then back to your chain three to do three double crochets in your space. So three double crochet, chain five, single crochet in the point, chain five. That's all there is to this round. So I will see you back around at the start. Okay, so I am back around um, to where I started. I've done my last chain five. So all we need to do at the end of this round is slip stitch to the first chain three that we made, that first double crochet. Okay, so the chain three that was for a double crochet. Just do a slip stitch into there. And that is the end of round four. The end of round four. There we go. So you can see now how it is looking quite hex hexagonal. There we go. So gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. Love it. 
Okay, so as I said before, you can change colour. Um, I will just um, let you know that for the next round, all you'll see of this round is your double crochets because we're going to work over the chains, so most of that will get hidden, okay? So you might want your um, last round to be all of this same colour, or you might want to change colour, okay? So if you're changing colour, then just fasten off and join your colour in any second double crochet, so the middle stitch of your set of three. Join your new colour in any middle double crochet. Okay, if you are staying with the same colour, then all you need to do is slip stitch over into this, sorry, out of camera there, out of frame, to slip stitch over into this middle stitch. Okay, so I'm going to fasten off and join my green. See you in a second. Okay, I have my colour ready in that second stitch that so we all should be in the middle stitch of a set of three. Okay, and we are going to chain three as a double crochet. And then we're going to do two more double crochet in that same stitch. This will give us three double crochets in that Okay, and then we're going to move into our chain space and we're going to do five double crochet in this space. So working over our chain, make five double crochets. And take five double crochets. And then chain three, five double crochet in the next chain space. Oops. There we go. I was mistaken, we see the single crochets as well. <laughs> I said we would only see the double crochets, but we see the single crochets as well. Okay, so five double crochet, five double crochet, and then we're going to do three double crochet in the second chain of this next set of double crochets. So in that middle stitch, we're going to do three double crochet, just how we started. Okay, when you've done these three double crochet, we're going to do five double crochet in our chain space again. Five double crochet. Chain three. And then five double crochet in the next chain space. There we go. And then you're going to start by doing three double crochet in that next um, middle double crochet, okay? So this is how we're looking. So we've got our corner is the five, chain three and five, that's the corner. And then each side will have the five, then the three in the center and then another five, okay? That's how it's going to work all the way around simples lovely so i'll see you around here where we started um, to finish off so when you have done your last five double crochet you just want to slip stitch in the top of your chain three to finish off and that is the end of this cute star fruit um, hexagon I nearly called it a square. <laughs> I'm going back in time, making squares. Um, so that is it. You can group these together so you've got them nice and neatly grouped together if you wish. Entirely up to you. And this is our starfruit hexagon. How cute is that? 
So I'm going to fasten off and then I'm going to sew in my end and then I'll come and show you the final, final result. And there we go. There is my star fruit hexagon. And I love it, love it. Very, very um, reminiscent of a star fruit. <laughs> um, so you can see on mine where these double crochets are made in the middle of each row. They are pulling in slightly. Um, if you don't like that look because you haven't got a, a perfectly straight side, there's a couple of things you can do. You can block it, so um, dampen it and then pin it out onto a foam mat or a thick towel. Um, let's pin it out and stretch it. Just pull it out like so. Pop a pin in and then pop a pin in all the places exactly how you want it to stay and then when you when it dries it will um, stay keep its shape and the other thing is um, if you're making more of these or you're joining it to other hexagons when you come to sew it together it will stretch out quite easily I mean it just doesn't need much at all I'm hardly pulling that and it doesn't need much at all um, to straighten it the other thing is just to go around and just pull opposite sides and that does help quite a bit to just sort of stretch it out um, that's helped quite a bit on mine so there we go there is our star fruit hexagon for today love it love it um we have another one today and that is the rose garden hexagon and that will be up very soon it might even be up by the time you see this video <laughs> um and there will be a link for it in the description box below so as always i would love to see what you've made i'd love to see what colors you've used and what you've done so pop a photo in our facebook group beyond the cow there is a link in that description box or if you're on instagram then hashtag beyond the cow and i can't wait to see what you've done so if you've enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful and helpful, as always, please click that like button, give us a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. And until next time, just keep hooking and don't let your teeth get cold.